cantaloupe? No, the cantaloupe. They're getting married in nine months. That's terrible. <laughs> They're late, Mary Elizabeth. Kelly said they'd be back in 20 minutes. How responsible is that? Kelly and Johnny said they have something very important to talk to us about. Another surprise. Hey, if it is, it's gonna take me a week in a padded room to recover. It's about us paying for the wedding, and I'll tell you right now, we can't afford it. Isn't the date almost a year away? Nine months, three weeks, and one day, but who's counting? Actually, since I stopped smoking, why, the money we've saved on cigarettes alone would pay for the whole thing. Yeah, well, you quitting smoking. Would be the best thing to come out of this. I know, I know. You got that right. Mom! In here, honey. Good luck. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Sims. You're late. Uh, Mom, Dad, we... Uh... You want to talk to us about the wedding, right? Yes. If you think that I am paying for a expensive wedding... We don't. That's why we're here. Well, now you two are talking some sense. Uh, Johnny and I realized how irresponsible it was for us to get pregnant. So we're not getting married in nine months. Instead, we're getting married a week from Saturday. Get married in 10 days. Johnny, in there. Daddy. He came here to talk, so let's talk, man to man. You okay with that? Yes, sir. And I suppose we should talk woman to woman. Are you crazy? You cannot get married in 10 days. Mom, what is your thinking here? Why, Kel? Why 10 days? Because we want to get married before the baby's born. You've got three months to do that. Meanwhile, go to your room and don't come out until your water breaks. Mom, you... And when you do come out of your room, where do you think you're going to live? Because you sure as hell are not going to be living here. Well, we're going to get an apartment, sir. And how are you going to pay for that? Our plan is for me to work more hours at the pharmacy. And where are you going to find time to do that? He'll work after school. What, four hours a day? Uh, Johnny was thinking five. Okay. Five hours a day at 565, that is minimum wage. That's uh, six days a week. That's 24 days a month. That's... Above $678. $678. And that's before taxes, right? Yes, sir. And what about food, clothing, car insurance, medical insurance, gas, electricity? And let me tell you, the price of diapers alone will bankrupt your ass. I know that, Mom, but I love a Johnny. Every minute I'm not with him, I can't think of anything else. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. I used to feel that way about your father once. That's why we want to get married now, so we can plan for the baby, decide what to name the baby, learn how to take care of the baby together. But can't you do all that now anyway, without getting married, before you even graduate high school? How? I'm pregnant and engaged. You won't even let him in my room with the door open. This is a consent form, huh? Yes, sir. Johnny, before we go any farther, try telling me the truth about something, OK? I'll try, sir. If Kelly wasn't pregnant, would you still marry her? Eventually, but probably not right now. Do you really think that having a baby is a good enough reason to get married? Don't you? Not always, no. Yes, your father and I did it, but we weren't ready, Kelly. It was not right for us or the baby, but we wouldn't listen. But you stayed together. Only because I was more afraid of divorce and going to hell that... Oh, my God. What? Well, you couldn't possibly get married in 10 days. Why? pre candidate takes up to six months. What? The pre-marriage classes, and you have to take them in order to get married in the Catholic Church. Mom, we're not getting married in the church. The hell you're not. I know this is a big deal for you. And it ought to be a big deal to you. Mom, we're getting married at City Hall, but we need your consent. Here's my consent. Can I tell you something, Johnny? Yes, sir. Your plan sucks. Kelly, we are not done talking about this. Yes, we are, if you're not going to even consider giving us your consent. A marriage 
marriage without the church is not a marriage at all. Then what is it? It is a misguided sacrilegious convenience. <sighs> We're late for school. My point exactly. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. You know, she really doesn't need your signature to get married. In Mississippi, they'll marry anything that breeds. Well, don't tell her that. Honey, I'm sure she already knows that. What she's looking for is your blessing. How can I? How can I give my blessing to something that I know in my heart is a mistake? By remembering how you felt when it happened to you. I do. I remember exactly how it felt to drop out of college to have Bobby. And I actually believed that I was just putting my plans on hold till he was potty trained. Well, guess what? 30 years later, I don't even have any idea what my plans were. But at least I got married in the church. I don't think the church wants to get between you and your daughter, so don't let it. What I want to know is whatever happened to tradition. Well? Don't say it. In my family, this is the tradition. <laughs> yes? Renee, there's someone out here you need to talk to. You owe me $1,200 for hitting on my husband and for throwing a drink all over his brand new cashmere suit. Who are you? I sent the bill and the small claims notice to your P.O. box here at the 10. Certified receipts proving it along with the notice. I'm sorry, I don't have a P.O. box and I certainly don't know your husband. The hell you don't. Is everything all right? Well, it will be if this hoochie will stay away from my husband and out of my club, the Velvet Cage. You own the Velvet Cage? Yes, I do. Very nice. I go there often. Joe. Sorry, Renee. I will see you in small claims court today at 4 o'clock. I do not have an appointment in small claims court today, and I've had just about enough of you, so leave now or I'm calling the police. No reason for that. And you know, if you don't show, the judge is going to give me the $1,200 anyways. Sweet deal, isn't it? How are you to know he was married? Joe, I wasn't there. Of course not. If you want, I can go with you this afternoon as a character witness. No, as soon as her husband sees me, he'll know that it's a simple case of mistaken identity. <laughs> the identities of the missing American soldiers have yet to be released. However, to according to unofficial estimates, no. the number Sometimes of those missing in action or killed in the line of duty continues Here. to escalate at an trouble. alarming speed. If I have to, I'll burn my draft card just like everyone else. And you go to prison like everyone else. Dad, even Martin has spoke out against us joining such an unjust war. Elston, you're an American first and a colored man second. And as an American, you have to fight for your country when they need you. Why? You told me yourself they still called you a nigga after you came back from the war. Unless an early end to hostility. Is near. There's got to be a better way to be an American than coming home in one of those. 102, 103, 104, 105, 106. Man, what in the devil are you looking for? Johnny's draft card. He doesn't have one, do you? Why not? Because he enlisted, stupid. What were you going to do with it if you found it? Burn it so that Johnny could come home and stay out of the war. <laughs> Where'd you get a commie idea like that? From Renee's brother. That's no surprise. Coloreds are always running away from their responsibilities as Americans. Aren't they, Daddy? 112, 113. One way to stay out of that war is to be anti-American, run off to Canada like a coward, or be classified as some kind of homo. And your brother is definitely not one of those. A homo? <laughs> He said no one would notice. Excuse me? It's my exhibit A. What kind of case do you think I have? Ironclad, open and shut. No doubt about it. Ms. Renee Jackson and Ms.